Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having a great day. Before watching the video, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. Prosecutors say Todd and Julie Chrysley lie to the IRS. Todd and Julie Chrysley's experience in the legal department has not been pleasant. Those expecting a positive outcome may be disappointed. Unfortunately, it appears that the crimes alleged against the beloved Chrisley knows best stars may be true. What are the prosecutors saying about Todd and Julie Chrysley? According to court documents obtained by the blast, Todd and Julie deceived the IRS. They lied about their salary. The most recent court filings suggest that prosecutors are pushing back. They do not want a portion of the lawsuit against the Chrisleys to be moved from Georgia to Tennessee. Chrisley defendants engaged in a lengthy scheme to shelter income, lie to the IRS, and evade payment of taxes. Todd and Julie committed crimes throughout many states. Numerous acts in the Northern District of Georgia long before they allegedly moved to Tennessee in 2016. The prosecutor stated in regards to where the crimes occurred. Prosecutors suspect Todd and Julie hired their old accountant, Peter Tarantino. Tarantino helped create the plan that enabled them to deceive the IRS. When filing company documents, the structure had errors such as failing to add Todd Chrisley's name. This permitted the couple to avoid certain tax liabilities. The Chrisleys accepted millions of cash through their production firm, Seven Seas Productions, which was registered with the Georgia Secretary of State in 2013. Furthermore, in order to conceal his income from the IRS, the Chrisley defendants removed Todd Chrisley's name from business paperwork filed with the Georgia Secretary of State. The court documents state, according to the government, Todd and Julie's application to relocate the case outside of Georgia is meritless and should be denied. The couple is currently facing charges for 11 different offenses, including bank fraud and tax evasion. While his wife is not particularly active on social media, Todd Chrisley has maintained an optimistic attitude and reassured his fans that everything would work out for the best. How do Chrisley Knows Best fans react to this new information? The story published by The Blast has received approximately 450 comments. Todd has approximately 2 million Instagram followers, so the large number of people who have expressed their opinions on the new information is not surprising. Guess they don't know best, one user wrote in the comments. Another person added, and this is how the affluent get richer, by lying. It's awful to report that the Chrisleys have enough money to pay taxes. Others criticized the family. They argued Todd and Julie should have anticipated that such a well-known pair would not be able to avoid detection for fraud. Fans who were still hoping for the best questioned the reliability of the information. Some others requested more information since they believed declaring income as company rather than personal was not unlawful. Unfortunately, the investigation is still underway. Furthermore, as TV show's Ace has noted, this case is unlikely to be addressed swiftly. The lawsuit could take years to conclude due to its complexity and high visibility. The fate of Chris Lee Knows Best remains unknown. Chris Lee Knows Best presently airs new episodes only on Thursday nights in the United States. The network has yet to renew the series for season 8. Given the legal controversy surrounding the stars, it is unclear whether the series will be revived. How do you feel now that you know there is some truth to the couple's legal drama? Leave a comment below. Stay tuned to TV shows Ace for the most recent updates on your favorite reality TV family. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, America Trends 24, and stay with us.